Hello. Hello guys. So in this video we will learn how we can <coughs> like handle this error res dot send is not a function. Or in the same way we can also get this error like res dot json is not a function. So basically all these error we get during the uh, API creation in Node.js. So so let me show you the code where we can get this error so suppose here in this code you can see app dot get this is basically a default like uh, like the root URL so in this uh, this is a get get method and here we you can see we are returning the response which is res dot send and in the res dot send <coughs> you can see we are returning the success and the success code but when we will return the res which is defined just after a then block so let me let me switch to the visual studio code so we can understand the same thing clearly okay so here you can see we are in vs code so let me just zoom it okay so here you can see we have created one method okay app dot get and we are not using the request basically and what we are using a response and you can see we have defined res two times the one we have defined in the uh, parameter and the second we are have defined the, the after the then block when after getting the like after getting the response from the api get api so you can see in this code here we have used like axios to call the api and after uh, calling this api we will get the response and the res response will be uh, like <coughs> banded in this res but we have two res here one is the root res which will be used to handle the res response to send the response from this block from this api and this is being used to get the uh, like <coughs> response from the api but here it is conflicting at two situations right so let me show you by running the code so let me run this code first so to run this code i have defined the this dev version in my package.json so you can see it's running at 8000 port and now i need to go to postman and from here we can call this api so as it is get api so it is not having anything here okay so let me click on send so once i click on send and we got the response basically successful but we, we, we because like you can see our api is called successfully you can see here we are having a log in the then log entered and then that means we have got the data from api so you can see here entered in then that means we have come to this then block and in then it also got the response here you can see this is the response which is rds.data but when we try to return this res right we got the error because res.send is not a function right in the same way if let me show you okay and from here we got the error and this error like cause of this getting error we navigate like the like um, like our code reach to this catch block right and then from the catch block we printed this type error and that is this log which is printing this type error and these two lines basically okay and from there here is also one res but this res does not belong to this that's why we got the response here res otherwise we will never get the response oh okay or oh, we will get the error always so let me show you that scenario also suppose i do this change this res to res and here it will also be res okay so now let me again save and now nodemon has restarted my server and now let me go again to postman okay and after going to post here let me click on send so you can see it is being sending the request continuously we are not getting the response right and when we will go to code then here you can see 
we got the error right you can see here we got the error we first error we got this from then block okay and from then block it reached to here res okay that was the error and second error we again got from here res dot send and that block is here you can see unhandled pro promise rejection warning that is also again it is saying as res dot send is not a function so that means we are using this res basically this res to return the response from an api but this is not like this res right so it will not get the response as you can see now this res not being used anywhere because it is not highlighted as this you can see that right so what we need to do basically let me control z this so we always need to keep in mind because javascript will not show the error whether this function is defined or not like res dot send is defined or not in the same way like like i i do this support json right then in the same case we will also get the error that but the error will be something different but now we will get the response from the catch block right we got the response from catch block because here we are not using the res okay so we got now the error is res dot json is not a function right we use both both like r like res dot send no like send method as well as the json method for returning the response right so now to fix this error we must need to keep in mind that always and always give it a different name suppose we got the response from this api then you can we can see it response right now it is different right now we will use this response also here as well as here okay so now when i will click like i will uh, like when now when i will use postman to call the api so here you can see we again got the false okay so now let's again switch back to this so you can see response dot json is not a function right okay i need to switch back to it send okay 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 sorry again okay just a minute now we are doing same mistake again right you can see here again we created the response and we change it to response but it should not be response it should be res okay so here now it will send the response so now again now let me switch back to postman and let me send on here so here you can see we got the response as success true and status code 200 and this response we are getting from this block this rest in the same way if we can do send then we will also get the same okay so you can see we got the same response right so this is the main key point for handling this kind of error use always different meaningful name uh, rather um, besides this req and res okay inside any method or block so that it will not cause any error in future because javascript will not check at compile time you can see that like you saw that So it's better uh, to use TypeScript for that if you can, because TypeScript will check the same thing at like at runtime. So let me show you again that thing also. Suppose I uh, am. Um, let me open this in a new window. Okay, so. 
now let me open that so this project is not Okay, let me open that again in the new window. Okay. So this is the project, the node project, right? With type script. So here in this project, you can see like we have written the code in type script, and we are calling the same API, right? But here we are using the port number is 5000 for listening from server, from the API. Sorry, listening from the uh, like any client. So let me run this code again and here let me do the same thing do the same mistake so here i have changed it to res so now you can see it is showing us the error at the compile time you can see that right cannot find name okay sorry not this one so this one so now you can see here it is saying property send does not exist right that means currently it is taking the response of this res method and this res method is not having the send method this res sorry this res pro does not have the send method inside it so if we also try to like uh, let me so check how we can run this so we can run this using the dev okay so this okay so now you can see that it will not run the project because we are having error you can see that right res dot send property send does not exist okay so to like avoid those things like compile time error so we must use TypeScript. So here, let me change again it in the same way. So once I will change it response, I also need to change this. Okay. So now I will again. Okay. Node manager is starting the server and now server is running. Okay. So let me call the method again okay so once so oh sorry this is 8000 port i need to call the 5000 okay so once i will call the 5000 port so we got the same response again so here you can see we also get an enter and then block it is written here and from there it is we also got the response so basically there is two things which we can do either we can use typescript or we must need to keep in mind during the development right we must need to keep in mind whenever we use typescript right so whenever we use javascript with node that we need to give it a different name which we are using here in the parameter so that's all guys in this video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any suggestions or comments in the comment section just below of this video okay i will be happy to hear from you guys thank you thank you for listening